how to open a bottle. To properly serve a bottle of wine, just follow some simple basic rules. First of all, show the bottle to the person who requested it. Read the label for them, including the name of the wine, the name of the winery and the year of the harvest if it is reported. Read the disgorgement year for sparkling wines. In order to open the bottle, place it on the table with the label always facing the person who made the request. If the top of the bottle is not provided with a tab, you should use a corkscrew with a little knife to proceed with the removal. Once you have removed the top, you can start to remove the cork. It is very important to avoid making noise while opening the bottle, even if the removal requires a particular energy, because it would be an extremely rude act. If the cork is made of real cork, it is essential to use your sense of smell to analyze the part of it that was in contact with the wine, in order to check for a possible defect. If smelling the cork you perceive a scent of wine, or no smell at all, it means that the wine is free from flows transmitted by the cork. If you perceive an unpleasant smell instead, it is clear warning that the wine must be flowed. In the majority of cases, the wine is contaminated by Armillaria melia, a microscopic fungus that might quickly attack the wine a few minutes after bottling. Unfortunately, there is still no way to prevent this fungus attack, as it is impossible to detect it before bottling the wine. In this case, it is suggested to have a quick sip of wine to verify the flow. If this does happen, you should not be afraid to reclose the bottle with the original cork and return it to the shop and to ask for a replacement, whether it be a wine shop or a supermarket, as the wine you have purchased has been paid for as a flawless product. That's because the choices of the seller, or the market, or the production and bottling disciplines must not penalize the consumer. Mm -hmm.